Who are you? Episode 13 What a day! Clavdia! What is going on the international arena? Clavdia? You're talking to yourself, Semenovic. This is bad. It means you lack communication. You need to go out more often. I didn't mean that. Maybe something happened. Clava is not at her post. Don't worry. What could have happened? Clava, she'll outlive both of us. She is the Highlander in a skirt. No, maybe something happened to her? Don't make things up. Unknown caller. Coming. Yeah? It's a fine day, princess. Not anymore. A punishment awaits you. I prohibited you from going after the psycho from the pharmacy and you didn't listen. For that, I will punish you. Look out of the window. It's a riddle. What is missing from the yard and what shouldn't be there? What did you do to Auntie Clava? Me? Nothing. You did all of it. What does that mean? You took it out on an innocent old lady for my crime. Looks like you have problems with logic, don't you think? I don't think so. It's obvious. You want to punish me, but you hurt a person who doesn't like me, to put it mildly. Well, I should have taught her a lesson just for that, but this time, my intention was different. Yes, the old lady didn't do anything bad to you, but today, she'll die. Because of you. Anti Clava. Anti Clava. What happened? Hello? Good afternoon. Are you a friend or a relative? I'm her neighbor, Inga Stefan. I'll go with her. Stefan? Why are you so surprised about what her state then? You were the one to call us. You said that the old lady felt unwell. It's probably the heart. We were surprised. The door was open. She was lying here alone. There was nobody here. Was the door open? It's weird. Why? So you didn't call us? No, it wasn't me. Can you explain what happened to her? Looks like a hypertonic crisis. The heart rate is too high. In her age, it might lead to a heart attack, you know? In any case, we will hospitalize her. So, does she have any relatives? Yes, she has a son, but as far as I know, they are estranged. She needs to be checked for toxins. It might be poisoning. You said that you were sure that it wasn't a suicide attempt. I guessed. The lady is old. She doesn't go to the store that often. She could eat something out of date, and that could provoke. Yes, you're right. So, will you go with us? Yes, I will. Fine. We're waiting for you then. What? Let everybody in, let nobody out. Got it? 
You have to make a good service dog. At least figuratively, right? Although you understand only the eat command for now, right? Right? That's it. It's boring to sit at home. I was thinking, if I can't do detective work right now, maybe I can help you somehow. I don't know, keep Spider in check. Put the screws on somebody. You can do general management in the office. Like the flight control center. Yeah, keep shooting the bull, flip boys. Did Inga come in? What is it? It's only 9.10, and the Major is twitchy already, like a hen over her chicken. It's because caring for the subordinates is our everything. Klavdia Vasilets, a probable heart attack. Yes, Inga, I already remembered. We are talking for the third time this hour. The patient is stable. I'm telling you, it's not a heart attack. I'll tell you about the accurate diagnosis after a full examination. Tell me, maybe she needs anything, medicines, consumables, or a consultation of an expert in some field. My parents own a private clinic. Maybe I could help. We have everything for now. We will call you if we'll need something. Don't worry. This generation will outlive us. Tell me, when will you know the exact diagnosis? We'll call you. Maybe you'll call her relatives. Yeah, thank you. Yeah? Where are you? I have an emergency. I'm at the hospital. It's dead. Where is my second phone with that thing? Damn it. I left it at home. I beg your pardon. May I use your phone? Yeah, I guess. Thank you. Where to? Let's go. I'll tell you later. Let's go, then. I have troubles with my phone. Come to my place. Urgently. It's Yan again. Inga, you have troubles with your head. What is it? Spy games. Are you checking our qualification? I'd laugh, but the situation is not great. A person got hurt because of me. Let's go. Double trespassing, Inga. With a break in, it's a felony. Tell that to Yan when you'll catch him. No break-ins. I have the keys. And the apartment isn't sealed. We need to find out what he has done to Auntie Klava. Do you understand that if he wanted to poison her, he wouldn't go ahead with the ambulance? Right? Oh, 
and T. Clava settled in well. A great, comfy sofa for watching the news. And she played her son for a good TV. R. And T. Clava is quite the gossip. She knows everything about everybody in our neighborhood and our house, and she's interested in local and international news. Aha. Uh -huh. So what are we looking for? I think that he wanted to poison her, so we need to check the freshly opened food. I don't know, sweets, cookies, fruits, maybe some drinks, juice, alcohol, anything. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't get it. Why it was anti-clava. I can get why Radishni. He was saying all that filth about me on his broadcasts. He was punished for that. But Auntie Clava, harmless old lady. Yes, she loved to gossip and said things about me, but I never cared about that, you know. Well, you need to understand why he chose her. Because she is neither your friend nor enemy, just a person that constantly catches your eye. And if something happens to her, you'll feel guilty for sure. Therefore, he is trying to get to me via my inner circle. He knows how important it is for me, and that it might unsettle me. He won't be able to do that. Okay, if we won't find anything here, then let it be so. Wait. I think I found something. Listen, they're not here, neither Inga nor Major. Only his dogs roaming around the office, and that's it. Well, I let Modi out. How? Accidentally, I opened the door and she ran out. I will go and look for her before Major's here, right? Maybe Major and Inga went to the brass or something. No. I've already been to Speeda at the reception. Both won't pick the phones up. Maybe they... They what? Do you think they plan a romantic date at the workplace? Come on. Maybe. They're having a serious talk. What if something happened? Look. Major was looking for Inga in the morning, and now he disappeared himself. What if this thief, Inga's psycho, we didn't hear from him for a long time. Yeah, for a long time. Just for a couple of days. Besides, that's not a fact. I mean that, Inga's secretive, and doesn't want to involve us. Maybe she didn't tell us something. Listen, go to hell, you two. I hope they do have a romantic date. Who's got a date? Well, you and Inga, Sergi. Anyway, that asshole turned up again. Who did? Who did? Yan, that's who. What's up, Herr Major? Hype again? Pavlik, I won't ask you about what hype is. Come on. Put the guitar back in the case and hurry to the detectives. Can you tell me about it on the phone? I'll start faster that way. Good try. Move it. We're waiting. Your guitar will wait. You'll receive a task. Wow. Did he put a camera here or something? You know I'll check it. Herr Major. If I find it, you'll get such a payback. Hello? Hello? Well, we have another call from Yan. To Inga. And my gizmo didn't work again. Damn, how does Yan do it? I'm a genius. But I'd go to his workshop. Don't be upset. I didn't switch the gizmo on, but I recorded the whole conversation. After we finish, I'll send it to you for analysis. Guys, I'd like to continue if you finished exchanging niceties. Okay, de jure. Don't have a case. Except for Yan's calls, 
we have no proof that Mrs. Clavia Vasilets, born 38, was deliberately poisoned. According to the doctor, she had a hypertonic crisis that led to a heart attack. At her age, it's a usual thing. He's good. He's good. I meant that Yan, he's always good. I wish I could go to his workshop too. But, de facto, we do have a case. Inga and I studied the crime scene. I mean, we examined the apartment of the victim. I don't get it. Did you and Inga go to the victim's apartment without a warrant? We examined the victim's apartment with her son's permission. Baiting Vasilets, whom I called. Right. Everything's clear. You got a permission to examine the apartment from the victim's son. And the keys. Over the phone. Go on, Major, sir. And we found evidence. Yes. Melishko. Since 98. Yes, I see the mail. No, I didn't check those materials yet. Anything you can. It's very important. It concerns one of ours. Yes, a female one. So smart, aren't you? That's it. I'm waiting. Anyway, is the task clear? Major, you're a master of curveballs. How can I trace a box of chocolates? How? You go and trace it. In the box, there is a paper with a stamp of the social security. Go there, take the senior lieutenant with you, and talk to the local aunties and the ladies from the social security, like a fairy tale. They love young and handsome guys. Why me? Because you're young and handsome. Why not? Are you scared of the ladies from the social security? Did you ever do business with them? That's right. If you did, you'd be scared too. Okay, let's go. Sergei, you're responsible for carrying out the task. Didn't I tell you that I'll be in charge here? Just don't overcharge yourself. Why are we in such a hurry? We have things to do. Look, Oleg. Yes. You gave tasks to everybody. Did you ignore me or something? Misha, question the witnesses. It's your favorite. Start with the veterans. What veterans, Major? When did you last see a veteran? I mean a real one, not a fake one at the parade. Start with the war children. They get some benefits. They are always promised something. Tell them that you're collecting information for a database. Start with the lonely ones who don't somebody to talk with. Maybe they saw our auntie with some stranger. Maybe someone visited her. They must have seen somebody if a stranger came by. I understand that the entire yard knows Andy Klava. And all the neighbors have no doubts, Captain. Andy Klava can even gossip with Grandpa Fimo from the third entrance. He is a veteran, and he went deaf back in 44, but she's fine with that. The Grandpa is the luckiest one. Let's go. Oh, Inga, how's the grandma, really? She will live. The doctors said that the ambulance was called right on time. What a creep. I mean that Yen. He was right on the dot. He's very good. Shpak is right. Do you want to go to his workshop? No, I'll try to meet with him without a cue. And maybe we'll give the guy last rites prematurely. Yeah. Why are you laughing? I could eat a horse now. Listen, I don't want to be in charge now. Let's go and have lunch. What? We'll skip work. We already did that. Any objections? I don't have any, Major, sir. Let's go then. Hey, youngsters. Why are you so sour? Stephanie. Are you working on the ladies from the Social Security again? Well, Lieutenant, don't be shy in front of them. Tell them a compliment. They love it. Yeah, her major is doing well. He got everybody to work. Except for Inga and himself, of course. Where are they, by the way? I can't find them. I can't say about the whole directorate, but I think they're on a date. Looks like Sergi needs to moonlight as a fortune teller. A date? 
but it's working ours. How can it be? He threw us into a crocodile pool and went out with a girl. Stephanie, how do you call that? Kid, that's called Sest la vai. Or church is la femme. In our case, it makes no difference. So go to your fams in the social security. Maybe they are not so bad. Let's go and exercise the social services. Hello, where can we have a seat? Come in, this table is free. Thanks. Shall we go all in? I think we can do without. Without casualties? Yes. Business lunch. Let it be a business lunch. Maybe I'll be able to take you out somewhere on the weekend. We'll see. If nobody gets killed before the weekend. I get scared myself when I say that. Well, you get it. I don't have any objections if everything's going to be fine. You know, I feel like a patient now who got an unfavorable diagnosis. Two business lunches, please. What will you be drinking? Oh, will we have some compote? Oleg, it's weird. We've worked together for quite some time, and you still don't remember what I drink. Double espresso without milk or sugar, with tall foam. And a double compote. If anything, I'll drink it. And that's it. Amazing. You're good at small details. Yes. You even know that I take it without milk or sugar. I guess that's professional. Very professional. Yeah, very professional. One second. Your uncle is just in time. Andrey, good afternoon, sir. No, I'm close by. I'll be back at the directorate soon. If you're close by, then be back not soon but right now, Major. I have a meeting at the ministry in an hour, and we need to talk. I'm waiting for you. Yes, sir. On my way. What are you busy with, Oleg? Something urgent. Well, Andrew thinks so. Shame we couldn't have lunch together. I hope it's not the last time. It's not. Thanks for the business lunch. And I'll try to live up to your hopes. And eat both portions. Bon appetite. It's on me. Wow. Mr. Morgan, they're ready for you. Good afternoon, Inga. Good afternoon. You look great. Well, as always. May I? Yes, of course. Anyway, your admirer is weird, Inga. To order a business lunch. My God, next time he'll take you out for burgers. Besides, he left his lady alone. You know, it's not up to you to judge. 
I beg your pardon, you didn't introduce yourself. Do we know each other? Of course. Who do I think I am? You had so many patients than the FBI, and now you work at the police. Of course, you don't remember me. Solov. Andrei Solov. Last year, before your trip to the States, I came to you for consultations. I had some disagreements with my second wife, you know? Significant age gap. A hick. Yes, I remember you now, Andri. You came alone without your spouse. No wonder I didn't recognize you. You've changed a lot. For the better, of course. You used to be utterly depressed, but now... Well, only thanks to you, Inga. Only thanks to you. Thanks. May I, Andri? Yes. Come in, have a seat. There are two issues. Very important. We badly need to resolve them. Let's start from the first one. It's selfish. In the literal sense. When will you finally give my secretary the list of food for Matilda, as you promised long ago? Because she is eating everything and feels unwell then. I wish you could see your face. What movie it was in? It's ineffable, said the dog looking at a babab. You have the same ineffable expression, Oleg. I'll give the full list to Svitlana in the late afternoon. Will that be all why you called me in so urgently for, Andri? No, it was a joke. A bad one. Let's get down to business. When will I see the Inga Psycho's case materials? Do you need a special invitation? I have no words to express my gratitude. Inga, after your consultations, I realized that a real high-class psychotherapist really does miracles. Can you remind me the gist of your issue? As far as I remember, you've only been a couple of consultations. Yes, only two. Imagine, I understood everything after just two conversations. Inga, you've made me a happy person. I started living a full family life. When I turned to you, my skank, I beg your pardon. My second wife was behaving just like a skank. But now she is just perfect. She does housework, keeps the house in order. A sex with me at my first whim. And what sex it is. She even started talking about kids. She did. Not like before. Right. How would she be cheating with a tummy? But now, everything's different. I explained the party policies to her, using fingers. It's really simple, honey. I have a crapload of evidence about how you were cheating. If you keep showing off, I'll throw you out into your crapload with no panties on. Well, I'm glad for you. It means you solved your family issue on your own. I don't understand how, how I helped you. What are you grateful to me for? You did it all yourself. What do you mean? I am grateful to you for your most valuable advice. I'm sorry, yeah. It's not the best time to talk. Can I call you back? Yes, Chtifi, I'll be waiting. Mr. Solov, I couldn't recommend any of that to you. Really? It seemed to me that I could see again after your consultations. It's impossible. Any family psychologist could not recommend you this way of solving your family issues. Yes, 
but it works, right? I don't know. Let it be your own know-how. I'll give you some advice. Change the way you talk to your wife. It won't end well otherwise. I'm serious. And now I need to go. I'm late for work. Yes, I understand. You're a busy person. I'm so glad that we met. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. When you'll have the time. We'll hang out, talk, have a drink. It's so pleasant to have the company of a smart and beautiful woman. Thanks, but I don't lead a private practice now. But we could meet as good friends. I mean, I wanted to say that we may become friends. I have a big flaw. I am very picky while making friends. Goodbye. Have a nice day. So that's how it is. Well, your life is in full swing, with a baseball bat to the head. When were you going to tell me about it? Andri, there is nothing to tell. There are no developments. There was an emergency with her neighbor today, and she only called me once. The first step is the beginning. He is progressing before our own eyes. More and more each time. Do you understand what's going on? If he got to the neighbor already. Yes, his obsession progresses. I think he'll dare to meet with Inga soon. Don't worry, nothing will happen to her. I'll be able to protect her. Fine, go back to work, Major, and report to me about everything. Yes, sir. Where were you, by the way? I'm sorry. Where were you when I called you in? I was having lunch. Inga and I went out to have lunch. Oh, and how often do you have lunches with consultant Stefan, Major? Today it was the first time, but I'm definitely planning to repeat my offer. In the nearest future. Planning, my ass. Yeah, hi. I'm sorry, I couldn't talk. Any news? Why is there no video connection? Because I was at lunch, and now I'm late for work. Talk to me, don't leave me hanging. Do you remember about agreement? It's an exchange. You'll tell me what's going on and I'll tell you what I found. And I really don't like what I found. Yeah, I remember our agreement, but I really don't have the time now. I do, Stiffy. I'm having a coffee break. Call me later if you're busy. Talk. Dan, please tell it to me now. Did something else happen to you? Do you remember praising my intuition? So yeah, my intuition tells me that you're in deep shit. Okay, Stiffy, listen. The Melishko family left for the USA in August of 98. They settled in California, what to be exact, before you ask me. Yes, they could afford it. During your turbulent 90s, is that how you call it over there? Janity Maleshko was able to amass no less than a couple of millions of dollars and managed to smartly move his assets out of the country. What about children? It's a very weird story. This family is full of weird stories. Their elder son Alexander, age 16, died a couple of months before moving stateside. Suicide. He threw himself off the staircase. Younger, Mitro, age 13, went to the States with his parents. That's where another shady story begins, right on arrival the boy's parents. How do you say it? Got rid of him. Until he was 21, Mitro, now Damon Maleshko, stayed in the closed therapeutic boarding school for troubled teens. Do you know what it is, Stiffy? Yes, it's a milder counterpart of a juvenile prison. Simply put, an alternative for jail. Exactly. However, Damon must have been an outstanding guy, because after leaving that establishment in 06, he enrolled and brilliantly graduated the IT department of Princeton. Yes, Stiffy, that Princeton, your alma mater. Did I count it all correctly? A part of Damon's stay coincides with your studies there, right? Go on. I'm almost done. The only thing left is a loud and shady end of Maleshko family. In June 2011, Damon and his parents went out to sea in their personal yacht. 
There was no crew on board. Father and son steered the vessel on their own. It's unknown what exactly happened there but the yacht exploded. As you may guess, there were no witnesses left. Were the bodies identified? You see, there wasn't much to identify. It took a long time to find the debris. And not all of it. I am waiting for an explanation. Shtifi. Dan. I'll tell you everything tonight. Okay? I promise. Fine, Shtifi. I'm waiting for your call. Be careful. I love you. Auntie Clava. You're funny, young man. Everybody in the neighborhood knows her. I believe she lived here before the current house was built. The people are joking that the house was built around Auntie Clava's bench. It's funny. So she is a local site, isn't she? Seems like she's held in high regard here. May I ask you why you're interested? You see, I, I wanted to know whether she is a reliable person. Can she be trusted in financial matters? I heard that she was selling her apartment, so I'm looking around. It can't be, Auntie Clava, selling the apartment. I don't know. Her son Vadim told me about it. You shouldn't listen to him. He dreams of selling his mother's crib. But Auntie Clava is very principled and very independent despite her advanced age. No, she won't move in with Fadek. What a nasty day. What happened? Tell me. Do you know I thought that people respect her here? I came to her yard yesterday, and I was told that she was sent a box of chocolates from the social security, like to an honorary resident. So funny. Who told you that? People in the yard. We, to Auntie Clava, a box of chocolates. No, it must be a joke. The girls will die of laughter when I tell them about it. We'd rather send her some arsenic. Come on. Yep. She caused us so much trouble. But it looks like you're in vice. The stamp is from the Social Security, but it's not ours. It's from a different district. Where did you get it? It was in the box. Thanks, Ireta, for the tea and the useful conversation. Looks like Vadim lied to me about the apartment. Or maybe he wanted to talk his mother into it. Thanks anyway. I wanted to repay you. Maybe it is our stamp. Let me have a closer look at it. You really are incredible. I left you in a nice place just for an hour, and somebody already tried to pick you up. How? You know, I think I got mad not because of him. Well, I feel sorry for his wife. He's a sleazy guy, but... These news from the States... Look. When you decide... To wreck your nerves next time, remember that you have a real reason for that. You have a great way of supporting people. It works though. Yeah, mom. Hello? Is everything all right? Mom and dad are fine, princess. I'm watching over them. But we need to have a serious conversation about you, princess. Talk to me then. There's too much garbage around you. Like that pig in the restaurant. However, that's not a problem. Will you solve this problem like the one with my neighbor? Will you be killing all people I know? People you know? No, only those who stand in your way, and I. Can you send me a list? Just for me to understand who interferes with my life. Except for you, of course. So much character. That's why I love you, and I. You promised me a date. I'm getting tired of waiting. You're right, and I. Let's talk when we meet. 
I'll choose the time and place that you like, of course. I love you and kiss you, my princess. See you soon. Come in, come in. All the data from the social security is at Spiders. He has already started to work. Well done. Yes. Sure, we're on our way. Well, people, we have a body. It's a businessman, Andrey Solov. They say it's suicide. 